Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're gonna finish implementing the enemy AI behavior. We'll be able to hit the enemy using the arrows. As you can see, we have this get hit animation that is played. Also, we can kill it. So before we get started, don't forget to watch my first videos about this game. We're making a third person game using this starter assets. Also consider subscribing to the channel, that helps me a lot. And let's get started. So here's what we left off from the previous video. We've added the Nightmare Dragon and we've created few states like Idle, Patrol, Attack and Chase. But we can't hit the enemy or kill it. To do that, first of all, we need to give it some kind of HP. So let's create a simple script using right click, create, C sharp script. I'm gonna call it a dragon or enemy. Then let's attach it to the nightmare dragon. Then let's open it up in Visual Studio. Let's go on top and add a new variable using public int. And let's call it HP equals 100 by default. And to apply damage to our enemy, we can create a new method under this script. So let's get rid of the start and update methods and add a new one using public so that we can call it from other scripts. Void. And let's call it take damage. We can give it the damage amount using int damage amount. Then each time we call this function, we're gonna reduce the HP by the damage amount using HP minus equals the damage amount. Then we can check if the enemy HP using if HP is less or equal to zero. In such case, we are going to play some kind of death animation. Otherwise, we're gonna play a get hit animation. And to be able to play these animations, we need to modify the animator controller component. So this nightmare dragon has an animator component. We can open it up. You just need to double click on it. Recently, we've added these states. Let's add the death and the take damage animations, which you could find under the animations folder. For example, we have die. We're gonna play this one if the HP is less or equal to zero. Let's drag it under the animator component. And we have the get hit animation. And here we will use the any state node. Basically our enemy can be dead whether he's idle, walking or attacking. That's why we're gonna make a transition from any state to die and from any state to get hit and to control these transitions we need to add parameters under the parameters tab I'm gonna use a trigger let's call the first one die and add another one let's call it damage then to use these let's select this transition and let's add the condition which is the damage trigger. If we set this trigger, our enemy will transition from any state to the get hit animation. And if we set the die trigger, we're gonna play the death animation. And finally, I want to add a transition from get hit to chase state. So each time we hit the enemy, he will start chasing. And we don't need to add a condition. So if you leave has exit time checked, our enemy will transition directly from get hit to chase state whenever this animation is finished. Then let's go back to the script again. And to play the death animation, we're gonna use the animator component. That's why let's add a new variable. And it's gonna be a reference to the animator component. The type is animator. And let's call it animator. Then under here, Let's set the trigger using animator dot set trigger and we need to pass in the name 
which is die. Make sure it's the same one under the animator component. Then let's copy this line of code and paste it to play the get hit animation. Just change the string to damage to set the damage trigger. But at this point, we haven't called the take damage function. To do that, let's go back to the assets folder and under the starter assets, third person controller, we've created this arrow script. Let's open it up. I've created this script when we've talked about the archery system of our third person controller. Under here, we are using the on trigger enter, which is called each time the arrow passes through an object. In such case, we can check if it's the dragon using this other variable. So let's add if other. And to check if the object is actually the dragon, we need to add a new tag. So let's select the nightmare dragon and we can check for its tag. But before that, we need to add a new one using add tag. I'm going to call it dragon. Then let's hit save and assign it to the nightmare dragon by changing its tag to the dragon tag. And let's go back to the script. We can check if other dot tag equals the dragon one. In such case, we can access the script, which is dragon and call the function take damage. Then to get the dragon component, we could use other dot get component. And we're going to check for the dragon script. Then we can call the function using dot take damage we can pass in a damage amount for example 20 or we could create a new variable using public int and let's call it damage amount equals 20 then we can pass it in using its name let's save the script using ctrl s then let's go back into unity under the hierarchy, let's select the Nightmare Dragon and we need to assign the animator component which is this component. Just drag it. Also, I forgot to mention that the onTrigger method will not work if you don't add some kind of collider to this enemy. So let's select it and add a box collider using add component box collider. Let's go under the scene and we can adjust it using this icon. Let's make it bigger. You could also change the size from here. Then let's hit play. Now let's try to hit the enemy. As you can see, we have the get hit animation. It is called once we hit the enemy with the arrow. Also, if we hit it with five arrows, we have the death animation. But we have few problems. For example, if I throw the arrow again, as you can see, he's dying. And that's not realistic at all. To fix that, we can go under the dragon script and check if the HP is less or equal to zero. In such case, we can remove the box collider component using get component box collider, or you could simply pass in collider, then dot enabled equals false. And to make sure that the arrow is moving with the enemy, we can go under the on trigger method and you could simply change its parent to the dragon object under this if statement. We can use transform dot parent equals the dragon using other dot transform. Now let's try it again. We have the death animation and we can kill it again because we have removed the box collider component. Before I finish this video, I want to add some sound effects. I've already downloaded these sounds like the dragon death, get hit and so on. Also, you will need these two scripts, an audio manager and a sound script. And if you want to learn more about these scripts, make sure to check out the link under the video description. 
I've talked about these in depth. So let's drag them under the assets folder. Also, I want to create another folder for our scripts using right click, create folder. I'm gonna call it scripts. And let's put all of these inside it. And to be able to add sounds to your game, we need to attach this audio manager script to an empty game object. Under the hierarchy, we can create a new empty game object. Let's call it audio manager as well. Then let's drag it. Then you will be able to create an array of sounds. First, we need to put the size, like three elements. And under each element, we can use a name, like a dragon death. We're gonna use this name later on to play the sound. Then we have an audio clip. For example, let's use the dragon death. We can set the volume and the pitch, which is one by default. Also, you could set it to loop time. Then you could easily play this sound. Of course, you could use the Unity editor. But we need to play it using our script. So let's open up the dragon. Then under here, we are playing the death animation. You could also play the sound using audio manager dot instance dot play. This function takes a string and it's the name of the sound, which is dragon death. But make sure to use the same name under the sounds array. I'm gonna copy it and paste it in here. Then let's copy this line of code and paste it under the else statement. Each time we hit the enemy, we're gonna play another sound, like dragon damage. Then you will need to create it under the sounds array. Of course, we need to drag in the audio clip. Then we can set the volume and the pitch. And there you go, we have finished implementing the enemy AI behavior. We can hit the enemy. Also, we can kill it using these arrows. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, consider subscribing to our channel. I appreciate that. And I will see you in the next one.